Hey guys, I'm gonna try teach you how to chest load a spear gun. Chest loading's a lot easier than than hip loading because purely because it it uses a lot more like muscle groups, which obviously work distribution makes it easier. Whereas if you hip load, if you think about it, you're not really using anything except like your arms and maybe your abs, but mostly 90% on your arm. Whereas if you have it on your chest, doing it properly, using your arms, using your back, using your shoulders as well. So it's it's going to be a lot easier and it's also a lot, you can do it a lot more before you start to get tired or annoyed. So the first problem I had when I was chest loading, um, I used to have a CX Sub X5, was these bridles. Um, this wasn't the actual bridle, it's just a cheap one I bought. I don't know why. But, the, the, you know the ones with the rivet, the articulated ones? And this is because when when people like me were trying to grab the metal, thinking that, like, if you grab here, it's going to stop it stretching and stuff, it actually, it's, it's going to put, instead of gripping a 20 mil surface, you're gripping, like, a 2 mil surface, so it's putting so much pressure on that little area, it's going to really hurt your fingers. And also, when you get it in the notch, if you do get it in the notch, then a lot of the times your glove will get caught and then you've done all that work for nothing so instead of that I'm going to show you how to hold it properly what you want to do your thumb has to be on the plastic bit and your your hands got to grip the rubber of it obviously you you don't want to be like this or like like you know when people try that and their hand sort of goes aside you really want a closed fist you really want to be able to hold on to this secondly this is hard because this is, you know, not on a gun, but if, if if this is the um gun barrel, you want it sort of, you want to turn turn it in. So it, this way it's like, if you're trying to um climb a ladder, ladder what's easier, if you grab the sides or you grab the, the rungs? Like, because sides, you sort of, your hands are better at taking pressure, like, across the, and the knuckles towards your wrist than they are taking pressure there. This is more like the grip of your hand, whereas that you're not definitely not going to let go. So when you you, you turn these these in, I like this doesn't bend as much because it doesn't have the rivets. But with the rivets, trust me, it bends really easily, and you can get it all parallel. And then it's and also with um doing it like this, if you have a gym membership or something, you can you can do the rowing thing, and it it'll probably help it. So. Now we've got the how to hold it out of the way, so you're not going to be hurting your fingers and stuff. Now, the next problem is is getting in position. Like, I see a lot of guys trying to do this, and they can't reach. On this gun, it's easy. It's only a 100, 100 centimeter gun. Um, I know 115 centimeter guns are a lot harder, or even um, guns that have a, a longer the end of it's a lot longer. So. What you want to do, when you grab it, you grab with one hand, and you keep that hand sort of stiff. You don't want that hand moving. You don't. You don't want. If you start like this, then you're already on the duck, um, downhill. Because not only do you, does your back have to help pull the rubber, it has to pull your back straight. So it's really important that you keep your back straight, arms stiff. And what you're doing when you're pushing this on, you're stretching the rubber. Yeah. I mean, it looks easier because I'm using 14 mil, but that's just because the 20 mil doesn't fit in this the gap of this gun. Um, so when you push it, you really when you have your hand stiff, push it with the other hand, and instead of bringing the gun around, which is going to be hard in the water, you turn your body. Okay, and notice this is sitting right on the bottom layer of ribs where like the muscle sort of overlaps with your ribs. This is what that's what I find easy for me. Some of the like the Rob Allen's where it's more of a doesn't have this this end pad, they find it easier to have it right up on on your ribs. But um, I don't see what works for you obviously. Now, when you pull this on, you want to really get it in position before you let go. Otherwise, if it slips, it really hurts. Trust me. Um, I like to sort of slide my hand up the gun. Because then, if it slips at any point, I still got contact with it, so I can move it. Then you, you obviously grab with the other hand. 
and I've already started with my back slanted. But that's just because I know I've got to hold it a long time. You really want to do this in one go, okay? You, yeah, you got to sort of arch your back and pull it down. You really practice is going to help a lot. It's a really awkward movement to do. So, oh, like if you get stuck halfway, just stop, take a few breaths, and do it again. Cause you gotta sort of either exhale or hold your breath when you're doing this. And well, if this, which is a, a rife or riff paddock, I'm not sure how to pronounce rife riff. If you guys know, please comment, sh tell me, because I have no idea. Um, these have a pad, and this grips to your wetsuit really easily, whereas um, my x fire had this little little plastic thing, and that used to slip around and never grip to the loading pad on my wetsuit. So what you can do, you know, either just live with it, put lighter bands on it, or a lot of guys start modifying the end of their, their stock. I, um, I know a guy who... He sort of, he got an old shoe, like a boot or a sneaker, and he got a bandsaw and cut the grip off, so it's, you know, the, the grip, and he stuck it on the back, and that seemed to help, or my friend uses a, um, like a foam yoga mat or that has grip on it. Anything is going to help. If you don't care about your wetsuit, you can even use sandpaper. The main idea is that it, it stays there once you get it in the right, the right place, and... So if you have any problem, like I had when the um the little plastic thing on the X Fire used to just give me bruises and stuff, a uh, guy in the shop actually told me you just you can just stick a thong in there, or even get some buy some foam cheap foam and just stick it in there and throw it out. Yeah, it all works. So yeah, see you guys later.